Hello, students. Michael Sanchez here. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, today's class, we're going to be talking about Irish fiddling and just going over a few of the concepts um, that uh, make Irish fiddling uh, very unique to, say, classical music. So um, probably the biggest difference that um, takes time to understand and, and learn is um, Irish accents. So what I'm going to do is kind of play um, Irish Washerwoman, actually, which is a, a famous um, Irish piece and uh, play it classically, followed by me playing it in an Irish form with accents. So here we go with um, Irish Washerwoman played straight classically. So that was straight classical. There wasn't anything really different about the way I stroked the bow. It was all pretty um, straight, no change in speed. Uh, basically with accents, uh, you do something a little bit different where on um, beats one and four of the measure, you emphasize the note. So to show you where beats one and four are, basically it's gonna be six, one, two, three, four, five, six, bum, 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 three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's six beats per measure. So that's the notes that we're going to want to emphasize like this. Like that. So you notice that some of the notes I was using a lot of bow, some I was using just a little bit of bow. So everything but beats one and four, I use a little bow, and then lots of bow on the one and four. So basically to do that, it's all about um, index finger guiding the bow. So for those of you guys that don't know, um, this is a really important finger to get the bow back and forth. We talked a lot about that in previous classes. So make sure that this finger is what's powering the bow back and forth because it's going to allow you to go fast and then go slow to a halt. So if you use anything else like the arm or you lock up your hands, your fingers, it, you're not going to be able to go far and then, then um, little distances. So you got to really make sure you're using the index. So what you're doing is you're pressing down a little bit, but, you're, but it's a lot of guide, a lot of finger guide. So let's try something. Let's take just open strings. You guys want to get your instruments up? Um, we got about, uh, yeah, nine students in the class. Um, let's just try to really pull the bow back and forth without doing anything but accents to start and see if we can get a clean sound while doing that and really trying to use the index finger. So like this. <laughs> Watch my index finger, what it's doing. It's snapping, it's pushing and pulling. So uh, everything that I just did there, uh, my fingers were really relaxed. Nothing here. My thumb was curved. My arm, I was just extending, bending, coming back with the wrist. But I was just using this more than I normally would to do the accents. Okay, so now that we kind of tried that, let's now do um, one accent followed by two small notes and then accent coming back, two small notes. Like this. Like that. So if you're able to do that pretty good, that's a great start. Uh, obviously, it's just open strings, so it's going to probably take some practice to be able to do it with the fingers down as well. Well, let's just try um, the D major scale um, in this way. So um, for every three notes, let's do one of the notes in the D major scale. So we have D, E, sharp, G, D. 
we have D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. So for every three notes in those in that pattern we just did, we're gonna do one of the notes of the D major scale, like this. That's uh, kind of a good next step. And if you're having trouble getting, you know, a clean sound doing that, most likely it's any sort of tension that you have in your arm, like I said. So just work on that. Uh, it's really important to be relaxed, to be able to move the bow quickly. All right. Um, now let's kind of learn the first uh, few notes of the Irish washerwoman. And uh, hopefully you guys will be able to play it with accents by the end of this lesson. So the first few notes. That's kind of the pickup, what I just did there. D, C, D, C, bum, bum. That's kind of the pickups. The B, one is the B. So I just did B to start. And then I'm going to do two Gs, third finger on the D. Followed by an open D. So I'm doing B, G, G. Open D, G, G. So. Just like that. Let's add that little pickup little spot we had at the beginning, the D, C. like that. All right, the next measure is going to be B, G, B, D, C, B. Do that again. One, three, one, three, low two, one. It's like that. So let's do those first two measures. It's like that. And then let me play the next measure. C, open, open. D1, E, open, open. And then two on the A, open two, four, three, two. It's like that. And it kind of goes back to the beginning theme. And this is going to be the tag ending um, part of it. Low two, one, two, open, three, two, one, G, G, G. All right, let's do the whole thing with accents. And that's the first part of Irish Washerwoman. So now the faster this goes, uh, I don't want to intimidate, but it definitely makes a big difference in the um, Irish flavor. Uh, it gives it that kind of dance feel. So right now it's going a little too slow to get that feel of where, how the accents are helping the piece. Kind of just sounds more unnecessary right now. But watch how when I speed this piece up, how it gets, you kind of feel that beat, which is really important in Irish music. Let me show you. Oh, 
Also, I'm starting to use less bow because I'm going faster. Um, I kind of start off using a lot just to really show you the index finger, how that's important to pull and push the bow. So yeah, that's um, important. And you know, work on, you know, use your metronome to build up, to work up speed, start slow, but work up, um, learn the notes first, use your tuner uh, and then work up speed. So that's kind of the first uh, bit of the um, Irish accents. Uh, which is the first thing that you should learn when you first start learning Irish music. Uh, as a last, the first um, uh, ornamentation that uh, we see. So, uh, for right now, I'll take uh, any questions from the audience. If you guys um, are wondering anything, please raise your hand or um, text me a question. Feel free at this point. Uh, Eric? Yes. Uh for this uh, this class, you have also given a piece uh, made on the green, and uh, I think that the, there are uh, different rhythms. If you play the, a little bit of that, I have the feeling that the um, that it's kind of uh, to reverse. Yes, Eric, I'm very glad you brought that up. Um, so yes, that's going to be the um, next thing I want to go over. Yes, made of the green. Uh, thank you for reminding me on that. Um, so yes, I have this on my website, the song Made on the Green, and it's similar in style as far as the fixate time signature. Um, so it's not obviously not the same notes as Irish Washerwoman, but it's going to have um, the same kind of style. So. Uh, let, let's go ahead and play that. So again, if you're interested in the music, just email me rivertownviolin at hotmail.com. I'm going to play it slow to start. than those accents in there. Um, there is some quarter notes in this piece, unlike uh, Irish Wash Roman. The whole entire Irish Wash Roman is eighth notes. So there's some um, quarter notes, which will kind of uh, change up the bowing. You want to always start a down, a down bow with the first beat of the measure. So it's a little different. Um, so yeah, I'll play a little bit quicker now. But yeah, just notice the, the Irish accents that um, are important. So. quicker. You can see as it goes quicker, the um, more it sounds Irish. We have to start off slow. Um, so yeah, that's in G major. So you got low two on the E string, A string, and high two on G and D. So it's got a lot of crossovers. It's important to leave fingers down in that piece. Um, a couple examples at B. Finger three down right there. And we'll go right back to it. Finger three down. So always leave fingers down as much as you can so that you can eventually um, um, continue to build up speed. Thank you so much for reminding me, Eric. Appreciate that. Any questions on the, um, the made on the green or anything else uh, related to the Irish fiddle style? 
All right. Very good. Very good. Uh, Guy, yes. So basically, it sounds like we're just putting the main emphasis down on the downbeat. Is that correct? Right. On, on the um, on the on beats, yep, on beats one and four. Mm-hmm. So basically, twice per measure and six eight time. Gotcha. Messy. All right. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, and um, this will be posted on YouTube. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and uh, we'll hopefully see you guys in the class in the future.